So this is the screen we are talking about which controls basically the what all options you should have on depreciation area tab. Because if you go to the depreciation area tab there are a lot of options. What is optional, what is mandatory, what is not visible you control from here. like scrap value this is something which is required for Japan so for if it is a Jap Japanese company code you need to make it mandatory for China this is required so it depends from country to country what requirement you have based on that you change your screen accordingly so that's why this screen layouts options are given tab layout so this is the general tab layout which we have for all the asset classes However, we will make a copy, we will assign to our company code, we will say is not allowed to be changed, created, deleted, okay. Why can't it should allow a copy? Okay, so my layout should start from Z. That's a problem. Now if I go to my layout, I see this, I can Okay, then I can assign this tab layout to the asset class. These are my asset class, so I will go to ZAP. So I'll just assign it to two so that you know we can when we see the system we we can easily do differentiate what is the difference between two tabs. Okay, my chart of depreciation is AUS. Okay, so I change the layout now. Now let me show you the asset master data screen. How how does it differentiate actually?
number region travel is not defined yet okay okay so here you see we have time dependent allocation origin leasing and depreciation areas okay but if you see the same screen with different asset class you will see more Which one I assigned? So we will go to the tab layout again and we will see which one we assign because we change the tab layout. Okay, so here we have ZAP and in ZAP what we did is yeah so we activated four or five options general time dependent allocation origin and depreciation area so we can if we if I delete origin now origin is here if I go back and come out come in now again So your leasing is also coming. So that's a difference. This is the difference between two tab layouts. So I change the layout. Okay. So we'll not create any master data as of now. We will see you know, as we move on. We we'll first complete the configuration. It was just to show you the demo of screen layout. user fields so as I mentioned you know we have evaluation groups we can rename those fields so what we can do is property we can say property type okay then we say two TRO tax return only then we have three GTO we have 
tax only assets okay so this is the one let me show you on the screen okay so this is the evaluation group so first one i renamed it renamed to asset type then others will also change you know and then we can build a drop down for them we can select the relevant field and it would be kind of table building the table so we, this is a custom option which sap has given we can design this table accordingly we can give the name of the header based on our requirement okay should have been changed let me see again new time dependent so we don't have any entry as of now okay So now I will say evaluation group one. And I can give the drop down here. And the options I have is ZTO. Tax only assets. TRO tax return only assets okay this one I did so if I go here both these fields are there so this is how I can build the drop down for this evaluation group 1 2 3 4 and then we have these are four characters and then we have five six seven eight which have yeah, I think eight characters we will see the limit of the characters so these are the custom field which SAP has provided you can build the table according to your requirement you can configure those so rather going to any development you can if any custom field is required any drop down is required you can build this table accordingly this can this can be any of your reporting field as per the requirement so we'll come out of asset master data we'll not we are not creating at this point we are just we're still working on the configuration
then we have eight character evaluation group and then we how many we have this one we have one change keywords in the evaluation groups so you can change the name of the field actually it was visible evaluation group you can change it to anything you want from here So I can put this so now if I go and see my asset master data screen there we go so the name is changed here property type so you can customize these fields you know SAP has given you option to customize these fields as per your requirement at any point of time so these are you know you don't require any ABAP help you don't require any developer you can go and change the data in the configuration okay